time for us to do a little bit of Rewind, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. This is a segment each week that we look at the films that opened 10 years ago this week and opened 20 years ago years ago this week. We call it affectionately the feeling old segment of the show. So what are celebrating birthdays this week? Well, celebrating its 10th anniversary this week, we've got Flight Plan with Jodie Foster, and we've got Bow, the Bow Wow classic, Roll Bounce. <laughs> turning 20 years old this week. I cannot believe this for either of these films. Showgirls has turned 20 uh. years old this week, and Seven is 20 years old this week. Schnepp, let's start with you. We got four birds. We got a flight plan and roll bounce turning 10. We got Showgirls and Seven turning 20. What stands out to you? Well, I want Sinead to see roll bounce because we were talking about <laughs> She was like, what? Roller skating and disco. It's fun. Watch the trailer. That's all I ever watched. And I was like, hey, you know, if you're really into the 70s Why roller, you watch this movie? I will never see the trailer. Yeah. But, you but I think you're going to probably enjoy it. So never saw that flight plan. Didn't see it. And, uh, you know, Jodie Foster's great. I just somehow I missed it. Uh, let's talk about Seven. One of the let's most amazing, about seven. horrifying films ever made. It really is frightening. It goes into the Seven Deadly Sins, directed by David Fincher, starring Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, and Kevin Spacey, and a head. <laughs> and a head. And uh, boy, is it a frightening, horrifying, nightmarish film. It's so well made. If you have never seen Seven, check that out. I can't believe that that's 20 years old. Showgirls. On the opposite spectrum, we're talking about a movie that's incredibly We've good. gone from <laughs> famous <laughs> yeah. to infamous. To infamous. Now... I also have to heavily recommend, like Mark Ellis, you might not have seen Showgirls, which is mm. stunning to me. You gotta watch Showgirls. You got. We're gonna. To watch we're gonna. Showgirls. We're gonna have a special screening for Mark Ellis, <laughs> just because. Not that I need to see it again. Not that I need to inflict that on myself again. But for Mark Ellis, I will watch it again <laughs> with him. It's incredible. Kyle McLaughlin in a pool with Elizabeth. Uh, what's her name? It's Elizabeth, Elizabeth Berkeley. Berkeley. Right. Jesse Spano is how you probably know her, and that's how I knew her when that movie was coming out. Is that she's gonna get a chick from Saved by the Bell is gonna be naked on screen for an extended period of time? We're all like all guys are like yeah. Oh, guys, our age are like That's, we were that young. Well, that, yeah. actually, my first thought when I read about it was, ah, I wish it was Kelly Kapowski and not Jesse Spano. But okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with it. <laughs> and for some reason, then the movie comes out and just gets lambasted. Maybe the the worst critical reception I've ever heard of for a movie was Showgirls to the point where I've never seen it. And I I wasn't like old enough to go see it yet by myself. I think I'd used all my credibility with my parents when they took me to see Fair Game with Cindy Crawford mm. and, <laughs> and uh, Billy Baldwin. So it was kind of like, okay, Mark, you can't go watch these movies just to see naked chicks. I never saw Showgirls after that. I just never had the desire, and I just heard it was so bad. Never saw it. Paul Verhoeven directed it. That's right. A lot of people forget guy. from Robocop. Yeah. And it's incredibly cheesy. It's Gina Gershon is in it. Like It's got an all-star cast. It's not a great film, but it's not the worst film ever. It's, it is but infamous it's for a reason. it's one of those movies that you got to have in your repertoire. You, you have to have seen Showgirls. And you know, it's funny. Is it really odd that when I think of Elizabeth Berkley, I, my first thought is not of Saved by the Bell. My first thought, I swear, that my first thought is she's the hooker that Al Pacino sleeps with in any given Sunday. Right, I right. don't know why, but that is the first thing that comes to my head when I think when I think of a Berkeley. I and I'm rare. I actually thought uh, Jesse was hotter than Kelly. Oh, really? I'm one of those rare guys. I always thought she was pretty. Now, as soon as I saw her OD on caffeine pills, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so scared. I was like, yeah, I'm a Kapowski guy. But seven, I mean, like, what's in the box will. It, that that that's a phrase that will live forever in my head. Like it, th that's the ending of that movie. Here's the problem: the ending of that movie is so powerful and so emotionally ripping, you almost forget how brilliant every other frame in that movie is, right from the beginning to the end. It overshadows the greatness of that movie because of how great the ending is. It's just so memorable. And I actually like Flight Plan. I thought the, the Jodie Foster movie, Flight Plan. I never got around to seeing Bow Wow's uh, Roll Bounce. Uh, so I'll, I'll have to recuse myself. Well, I'll ask Sinead after she's it, she sees it tonight. <laughs> hey, Sinead was laughing at me <laughs> because, you know, I'm not a funny guy. I'm not. I, I know I'm not. Um, but we were, <laughs> we, were, we were in our pre-production meeting 
And it's like, Bow Wow, like that, that's, that's Snoop Dogg's nephew. Isn't that Snoop Dogg's nephew? And then it goes like, everyone starts talking and no one's ever heard of this movie except for Schnepp, surprisingly. <laughs> He's like, hey, that's that roller skating movie. And we're all talking. And then John very quietly <laughs> is like, so if Snoop Dogg changed his name to Snoop Lion, does that make Bow Wow... Roar, roar! <laughs> nobody it's a nobody heard it. Well nobody put heard it, joke. except for me and Wendy. And I was like, "Are you freaking serious right now?" Like I would have, la- if I had heard it, I would have giggled. Yeah. I was laughing so hard. Yeah. I was like, "Everybody needs to stop talking, and we need to talk about what the hell Campia just said." <laughs> <laughs> so good. Honestly, highlight of highlight of my week right there. 